Mount Itziza in northwestern Canada is a member of one of the most elite classes of mountain on the planet, called glacial volcanoes, volcanoes that erupt in contact with glaciers. from the union of incompatible parents. The conjugal mixing of flowing magma and rock-hard glaciers. The union of ice and fire. This is the story of the consequences of joining fire and ice and the life that sprang from their ashes. Atziza is a complex of 50 volcanoes, a symphony of epic proportions, written in a script of geology upon a parchment of time. From the escarpment built layer upon lava flow layers, reaching back across vast basalt aprons, punctuated by volcanic cones, ascending finally to the crowning citadel of stone spires. It is an opus of tranquility and splendor, composed from violence and chaos. The Adziza Volcanic Complex is part of the Stikine Seismic Belt, running north-south along the interior west coast of British Columbia and into the Yukon. This volcanic belt was the result of the subduction of the Pacific Plate sliding beneath the advancing North American continent. It is believed that the first volcanic activity in the Adziza region began eight million years ago. The most extensive volcanic events on Itziza, called the Nido period, were not localized to a single volcano as magma flowed out of six major volcanic cones and dozens of lesser formations covering much of the complex. Fire fountains of gases and magma were common, and ash vents darkened the sky and masked the sun. After a long period of glaciation, another major vent opened, spilling sticky, viscous lava that adhered to the sides of the volcano, building a mountain that is today Mount Itziza. As the lava flow subsided, great cinder cones formed as the parent vent spewed mountains of ash and pumice around the flanks of the Itziza complex. Although the surrounding mountains are granite, the Itziza complex is a mountain of glass, raising the question why. What is it about the consistency of its subterranean magma vaults that creates a landscape so unique? Human history on Mount Itziza has been confined to the last few thousand years. And it is believed that early migration routes of the hunter-gatherer passed along the west flank of Mount Itziza, leading to the first discovery of the mountain's obsidian sites. This material would prove invaluable for making tools, weapons, and would become the basis of a flourishing trade network. For suddenly, Paleolithic man had a substance so sharp that it could pierce even the toughest of animal hides. 
The first Europeans to venture into the Northwest came with the discovery of gold in the surrounding Cassiar Mountains in the mid-1800s. In 1866, the Collins Telegraph Line to connect North America with Europe was strung through Edziza's Raspberry Pass. The line never reached Russia due to the successful completion of the transatlantic cable. In 1972, the mounted size of volcanic complex was made into a provincial wilderness park. There are no services available, requiring backpackers to be self-sufficient and carry both food and shelter for treks that range from five to 10 days. Access to the park is by float plane to one of the three trailheads. Buckley Lake at the north end of the complex, Modaddy Lake midway along the eastern side, and Little Ball Lake at the southern extremity. Starting at Buckley Lake, the first section of the trail serpentines through a vast labyrinth of lava beds less than 2,000 years old. Uneroded by glaciers, it is the landscape of cinder cones and gargoyle gardens. The trail through the midsection of the complex skirts the main peaks to the west, arching around tongues of glaciers before giving way to a great moonscape desert where plant life is the exception. Unlike other great deserts of sand, this section is covered with pumice dunes sandwiched between great ash and cinder cones. The southern terminus of the park is the Spectrum Range, named for its kaleidoscopic splendor, a geological palette of brilliant earth tones, rust red irons, The iconic jewel in the cluster of volcanic brilliance is Kumagu Mountain, towering above Little Ball Lake. The story of Mount Itsaiza is the story of flow. Water flows just as glaciers flow. Rocks turn to fluid lava rivers. Superheated steam flows out of the volcanic vents. But most of all, time flows. And over a period of eight million years, it created today's Mount Itziza complex. It is likely that Mount Itziza will continue to erupt. But when is not certain. What is certain is that vulcanization is one of the few primary forces in nature that is not controlled or even influenced by humans. And whatever the future of the mountain, it will continue on its charted course, oblivious to human endeavor. <laughs>